Did I like the color? Hmm? I thought it looked nice. You think? I feel like it doesn't suit me at all. Well, why not? It's cute on you. Ugh, you know me. I like things plain and simple. That's true. I guess that's what's so great about you, Lyra. You have that natural charm. Out of the both of us, I think he's the charmer. Not that I'm complaining, though. In fact, Sean's probably the reason why this flower shop is still in business. Sean, you're overwatering the lilies. Ugh. After Granny was hospitalized a few years ago, she left the flower shop under my care. I took over completely as soon as I graduated high school, but I was worried about running the family business on my own. Welcome! Luckily for me, Sean stepped in and offered to help out around the shop. He's been working here ever since. Let me know if you're looking for anything in particular, ladies. Okay. Though we may or may not be oblivious to it, Sean is the main attraction of the shop. He brings in girls, which brings in guys who are interested in buying flowers for those girls. I'm 95% sure those girls aren't going to buy anything. Uh, to be young. Little do they know that he's actually taken. Those girls remind me of when you and Cory were in middle school. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Lila, are you free tonight? Me and my sweetie pie are going out for karaoke and drinks. I hear some cute guys are gonna be there. Wanna come with? <sighs> Sorry, Cory. Not tonight. I've got plans. You never make time for me anymore. I thought we were besties. We hung out yesterday night at your house, remember? I'll be stealing a bestie for the evening, little sis. Ew, gross. Are you guys gonna go bike riding again? Well, the weather is nice and there's gonna be a full moon tonight. Besides, we haven't been able to go bike riding often since- Ah! Alea's here. I'll be right back. I promise I'll wish her good luck on her interview before she leaves town today. Since he started dating Alea. Ugh, good riddance, Alea. I bet she's not even going to come inside to greet us. The snob. Look at her on her stupid pink Vespa like an oversized Barbie doll. Walking around like she's all that in a bag of chips. And a coupon for next time. Cory, be nice. She makes your brother happy. Come on, Lilai. You can't honestly think that she's the best thing that's ever happened to Shone. <sighs> Ar, are you sure you don't want to come with me tonight? It'll be fun. It's fine, Cory. Maybe next time, though. Thanks. <gasps> your nails! I just painted those yesterday! I, I thought it looked flashy on me. You know... I can't pull out vibrant colors. You see, Lilai? This is exactly your problem. My nails are my problem? No, it's you. You're always afraid of making changes, and you instantly reject anything that's new. Sean and Aaliyah have been dating for a year now, and I can tell you still have feelings for- <laughs> oh, I still need to order more hey, clothes for the Hey, are you listening to me? What I'm trying to say is, I just want you to be happy. Live a little and take chances sometimes. You always coop yourself up in this shop. I am happy, Cory. And besides, I do live upstairs. It's my home, not a prison. Jeez. <laughs> More like a prison disguised with flowers. Watch it. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if you change your mind later, call me. Okay, I will. Speaking of which, I gotta make a call, so excuse me for a bit. Alright. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> Oof.